So I have something different from the company Fire Maple I want to share with you, a gas lantern. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I do want to thank the company Fire Maple for sending me this lantern so that I could share it with you. So what we'll do is we will get out of the tabletop where I'll go over some of its key features and its specifications, but more importantly, I'll show you how it operates and we'll talk about my experiences with it. All right, before we get on to the specifications and operations of the lantern, I thought I'd share with you what it came with. So it arrived in this box, and strangely enough, it's referred to as the orange lantern. Can't imagine why. So inside of the box is this hard protective case. This is nice to have, of course, for transport purposes, just a two-piece case that you would put the lamp inside. It also came with this manual. Now it is a great manual in that it's pictorial as well as written words, so it also has some warranty information in it. And it came with this little tube and I had no idea what it was because I couldn't see what the contents were until I actually lost one of them and had, it took some time to find it. Super fine wire, steel wire inside of here. There's a couple of them and they are used for cleaning the fuel jets in the lamp. And I'll, I'll show you how that operates in a few moments time. So let me just put those items aside, bring the lamp back in. Now what it doesn't come with, of course, is the gas lantern or the gas canister. It's just the lantern portion itself. I won't go too heavily into the specifications in terms of the size and everything else. But, uh, and the reason is, is because I'll put that in the specifications. But I will tell you is that the weight of the lantern alone, not the gas canister, is 4.9 ounces or 140 grams. So uh, there's not a lot to say for it except to demonstrate how this works. So to start with the lamp, the globe is removable, but you don't have to take it off in order to light it. You can if you wish, but there is another way of lighting it. And you can see that there is a cutout on the side of the lamp. So when it's in operation, that cutout is going to face the upslope of the base of it. But when you want to light it, you just turn it so that the cutout is now exposed. And of course, it has the operating valve on the side. I'll light my lighter, turn the gas on. And now you just adjust the flame until you get down to the right level. Turn the globe around so that open portion is faced away. And that's all there is to it, right? That's all there is to it. Now you do get a little bit of range in terms of light. Now, once you get to the top of the globe, it is going to start to smoke. So really, uh, I like to leave it at about what I call one inch of flame, and that's about right there. So a couple things right off the top you want to know is, does it actually illuminate the area? Well, I'll turn the lights off in a moment so that you can see that. I will say now that it's more of an aesthetic thing. You can see around you, but it's not like you could prepare a meal or cook or, or read a book. Maybe, but uh, only if you turn it up a little higher. But of course, then it's going to go through fast uh, or gas a little faster. The other thing I wanted to know, so I actually did this, is because you're thinking, you know, would I be waste gas on something like this is just for uh, an aesthetic value. It's basically a candle, a gas candle, I guess. So I did some fuel consumption tests and what I did is uh, left it at that flame height, which is what I call the one inch flame. And I let it run for an hour, weighing the gas canister before and after. It only burned four grams. So four grams an hour is not bad. So in the evening time, if you like to have a candle around your tent or outside of your tent, of course, you don't want this operating on the inside of your tent, but nearby like you would one of the little candle lanterns. Uh, this is a great alternative to have and really does not take up or does not consume a whole lot of fuel. That's the whole operation for it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off, let it cool down for a second so that I can show you how the jets are clean. Then I'm going to light it back up while with the lights turned off so you can see how just how bright it is. All right, I removed the lantern from the gas canister, took the globe off so that I can show you where the jets are and how you go about cleaning it. Now, let's just uh, talk about that. Really, you should have no need to clean it. If you're using good gas in a good gas canister, it should not clog up. Having said that though, like all things that are operated by gas, they can clog up over time. So it's nice that they included the wire for cleaning it, but how do you do it? Well, this central portion where the jet is, you can just grab that and unscrew it. And then set that aside and you can see the jet exposed in there. Uh, I'll put the size of the wire in this, but oh my goodness, it's small. In fact, it is so small, I have trouble seeing these things. So I, you probably think I'm just holding nothing. Oh, yeah, it is actually showing up on camera. Very good. And of course, that's what you'll do 
make sure you're wearing your glasses, and just insert it through the jet, run it down through a couple times to make sure that the jet is clear. Put it back in the tube. Again, make sure you're wearing your glasses for this one if you wear them. And put it away. Now I can reassemble the top of the jet. Put the globe back on. Snaps into place like that. And now I can put it back on the gas canister. A little quicker mark. There we go. All right. Now we're on the gas canister. Turn the uh, opening, the, the vent on the side towards you so that you can light it. Let's light it up. Turn it down to that one inch mark. Turn the lamp around. Okay, give me a second. I'll turn a few of the uh, lights off around me. We can see how bright it is. And I'll also just back the camera out a little bit at the same time. Okay, so as you see, it's it's pretty much like a candle. It's not really, really bright, but it's, um, you know, it's okay. I can see, I can see around me. I just don't know how much work I could get down. Let me just turn it up a little bit. See, it does, I wouldn't want to go any taller than that with the flame because one, you're wasting gas, but two, uh, it's not necessary. That's about the maximum illumination you can get. So I guess, yes, with that much light, I could prepare a meal at a camp table if I wanted to, although I'd probably be using a battery light for that. I think I mentioned earlier, this is more for aesthetics because it's actually quite nice to look at, just like a candle light would be. All right, so that's the demonstration of how it works. We can probably wrap this video up. All right, it occurs to me that an opportunity to use this light would be when there is a fire ban on and you can still use gas for cooking with and supper's finished and you're sitting around in the dark, why not just light up your gas lantern? You can sit and have that a bit of illumination while you're at camp before you turn in for the night. Yeah, that would probably be a good opportunity to use this light. It's a lot like having the UCO type of a candle lantern. Really nice aesthetic, not highly functional, does provide some light, especially if you walk away from your tent for a short trip into the woods in the evening, you can find your way back. So that's probably the way I would look at this is a replacement for a candle that doesn't uh, require you to carry extra candles with you. And if you already have your gas cylinder at four grams per hour, you know, it's not bad. I guess, so it's just an option I put out there. I quite like it. It's not something I'll use all the time, probably not all that often but it is something that is nice to have as being a little bit different. Okay, if you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comments section below. I will put in the physical description as well as the links to where you can purchase this from Fire Maple in the video description. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.